everybody and welcome back to my channel folks it's a cool day here uh, it's actually about 60 degrees it is overcast but we're hoping the Sun's going to come out because we're working on a very important project and we want to share it with you and tell you what it is but today I'm going to show you how I do it and how you can do it I'm talking about to make a bed foundation. Now you know me, sometimes I do a few crazy things, but listen, my crazy things, they work and they make good sense. But today I wanna to show you how you can make your own foundation for the very bed that you sleep on. But I wanna show you something if I may, so you hang around and I want to show you what my bed looks like, okay? Okay, I want to show you a bed, folks, that really uh, you don't see anymore. You're looking at an old-timey bed that was made back in the mid to the late 1800s. This is an old family heirloom that was handed down to me. It all started with my grandfather and it's been handed down through the generations. My dad had this bed and it was passed on down to me. I believe it was made, like I said, in the late, the mid to late 1800s. Now I have refurbished this thing about a year ago. No, 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 about two and a half years ago. I put the sandpaper to it. Let me show you both ends of it. And I put two, two coats of paint on it. Now I've got it up on this trailer so that you can really see it without any problems. It's all metal. And like I said, I put two coats of paint on it about two years ago, and it's been in storage ever since. But I have passed this on to one of my grandsons. And I told him, I said, son, this is a family heirloom. So I want you to pass it on down from yourself down to your children. That's what an heirloom is. It's passed right on down through the generation. As you can see as a close-up of that, it's made of solid metal and it's ancient. I don't know what this bed would have cost back in the 1800s, but I don't know what it's currently, if there's a value on it or what. But uh, like I said, it belongs to my grandson now and he's going to He's going to, actually, he's going to sleep on it. He actually is. In fact, I'm getting ready uh, to show you more about that in a few minutes. But I wanted to share that with you and let you get a good bird's eye view of this bed. It's a classic antique. And let me tell you, I slept on this bed when I was a kid. I am telling you the way it is. I did. I slept on this as a kid. My parents slept on this bed. It's a full size. Now the full size beds back in the 1800s were just a little bit smaller than they are today. But they're still, you know, relatively about the same size. But this is a beautiful bed and I wanted to share it with you. Now, the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to build a foundation for this bed. Now, let me point out to you about a foundation. Now, most people today, they buy a mattress foundation combo. That's usually the way they purchase them. But I'm going to tell you something. Your mattress is really, really, if I could use the word worthless, without a strong foundation. Now I'm gonna put a foundation together here with 
two by sixes and two by fours. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make and how much more solid and firm it is by doing it yourself and actually saving some money. Now your, your mattress is really the life cycle of your mattress is determined by how strong and how firm your foundation is. Now a weak foundation will destroy your mattress. Now trust me, I have discovered that over the years. A weak foundation will cause your mattress to break down really, really quick. It'll become, you'll have soft spots in it, and you'll have uh, sagging in your foundation. It will sag, most of them do. And the reason they sag is for the most part, folks, a foundation, these days, they're virtually made out of cardboard. A little bit of lumber or wood is in them, but for the most part, the rest of them. All right now, folks, I have got my pieces of wood cut here. Like I was stating earlier about a foundation, most of them today are made of very little wood and mostly made of cardboard. Yep. You may be surprised to learn that. But let me tell you, your life, I've said it again, I'll see it, say it again. The life of your mattress is determined by your foundation. If you've got a weak foundation, you will have lumps and humps and bumps, and you will definitely have sagging, especially in the middle. Now, most of us, uh, I sleep on the right side and my wife sleeps on the left side. And sometimes people tend to roll in the middle of a mattress. If your foundation is weak, right there will be the breaking point of your mattress. It will sag in the middle and you will be gan, you will be, you'll start to wake up with back aches. And let me tell you, it'll start with every other kind of ache as well. So this is the foundation that I have gotten started. I have got the pieces cut. As you can see, I've got the pieces cut and they're all cut pretty much identical. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, get my drill and my screws and I'm gonna put them together and this doesn't take very long. It, it hasn't taken me very long at all to cut this. Now the next step will be to put it together with my screws, starting right here. This is just a piece of wood to hold it in place because my trailer is not level, as you can see. It's just a piece of wood to hold it there until I can put it together. So we're gonna grab our drill here and we're gonna go to work. Okay, now folks, we are ready. I've got my drill. We're ready to put the screws in this thing. So I'm putting three inch screws in this. These are two by, two by sixes, and you need a lot of good support in your screws to make sure you get it just the way it should be to hold this thing together. So good long three inch screws. And we're gonna take our time here got that side so we're gonna go to the other side now folks you can see that I have got the screws and I've got this frame I've got this foundation all four corners are equally square 
and it is put together. I've put it together with screws. Now these big long three inch screws, they are really what you need to do this with, but they are very difficult to start without pre-drilling. Some people would want to pre-drill pre those in order to, well, they're difficult to get in, but let me tell you, I took care of it. I put them in there. It was a little bit difficult, difficult, but no big deal with me. But I've got this frame ready. Now, I am gonna take my two by fours, if I can get one over here. And I'm gonna put these about a foot apart in order to get them really to where they will be completely stable and i'm going to put them together about a, about a foot apart so that's my next next thing right there i gotta go ahead and uh, uh lay that out and get them precisely the way they should be but it looks good so far it looks great i have got the main main beams here or main structure it is in place so we're going to cut these two by fours and put them in and then the final step will be to put the uh, the big old half inch plywood on top okay folks we are coming along real good on these two by fours I'm going to measure those out to be precisely the same length although that one I just put in was about a quarter inch too long and I don't know how that happened but we'll we'll make sure these are accurately cut now folks we are down to the final step of building this foundation we've got all of the two by fours about a foot apart on the inside of this bed foundation now the next step that we have got let me give you the view from all four corners of this now this is a two by six which is actually a five and a half foot that's exactly what your two by six is if you know what I'm talking about instead of being a full six inches it is five and a half and it is an inch and a half wide instead of two inches. Now that's your basic two by four. So we have got these two by fours about a foot apart on the inside of this bed foundation. Now the next step, like I said, we've got to put the plywood on top and we're done. So we're going to go ahead and make a couple of cuts in our plywood and we will show you the finished product, okay? We're ready for the nails on that thing. And that's just what we're going to do. We're going to put the nails to it. Okay, now folks, we have got our, we have got, we have got all of our plywood, as you can see. We've got it on the bed. So the next step is we're going to take a chalk line. We're going to take a chalk line and we're going to stretch that chalk line and that way we'll be able to get our correct a cor correct line straight across so we can uh, make sure we get all of our nails in. Okay. 
to do this five times. Now, let's roll this chalk line up and start putting the screws to it, okay? All about inches apart will be fine. All right. It looks great. I'm going to get the other side over there in just a few secs here. It looks great. My box foundation looks great. So we're going to finish this up and give you the final view of it in just a few secs. Okay, folks, we have got this baby all done. This nice foundation is completely done. And as you can see, it looks great. Let me show you the top of it. Now the, the blue lines you see, of course, that is chalk lines to where that I had to uh, chalk my lines to get all of those nails in there in the right spot. So you can see. Now the only thing we've got to do for this next, we have got to put a nice cloth, cloth covering over it, for which we have got. We will do that just before we put the mattress on it. But this looks just fine. We built this, folks. It cost us about $125 to build this. Now, I'm sure you can buy one for that price. But I'm telling you, the quality that this has got in it will not be there. This will last my grandson a lifetime. And then probably a little bit longer than that because that's made out of two by sixes and it's made out of two by fours. And I'm going to tell you, it is solid. It is solid from end to end. It's perfectly square. And I'm, a, I've not picked it up yet, but I'm going to let the boys carry it in the house. I'm assuming it will weigh about 150 pounds, maybe not that much give or take 20 30 pounds it's not that not that heavy but we hope that you've enjoyed this little construction of this nice bed foundation we hope that you if you've got something if you've never attempted to do this let me tell you follow the guidelines that I gave you there I hope I gave you enough guidelines to where that you can construct this yourself if you want to. This is a DIY project, and let me tell you, if you're handy with a saw and with a drill, you can do it, and you can save yourself a lot of money. So we are going to close this video out. And listen, if you like this video, and you like what we've done here with this bed, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, if you will. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I would appreciate it. And as always, listen, you have a wonderful, blessed day, and we will talk to you 